Today we're going to take a look at the structures in the mouth of the pig and in the um, chest cavity to look at the respiratory system. So we can see the external structures really clearly. Those are the nares, and then we can feel around for some teeth. Usually there's some on the top and the bottom. We can see the tongue as well. And so our job today is going to be to make incisions along either side of the mouth to be able to look at the pharynx, which is the region in the back of the mouth. Um, your dissecting guide says suggest using scissors. Um, I use the scalpel. I just feel like I have a little bit more control, but you'll notice I'm going to make really gentle, deliberate cuts the whole time. Um, we don't want to use the scalpel on bone because I can risk breaking the scalpel, so just be very careful. So you'll notice I'm making incisions just in the musculature on either side of the tongue. I'm not cutting into the roof of the mouth, and I'm not cutting into the tongue. I'm just trying to loosen up those jaw muscles on either side. Sorry that my hand blocks the cuts on um, when I'm on the top side of the pig. Um, so I'm just using the scalpel to really gently kind of release those muscles um, and hopefully be able to um, pull down on the tongue enough to see the pharynx. So I'm putting a little bit of light pressure on the tongue and the hard palate. Again, sorry, <laughs> it's the top of my hand, but I'm making some really slight um, incisions in that musculature on either side. So again, I haven't opened up the roof of the mouth, I haven't cut into the tongue. Um, I can start to see the pharynx in the back. I can feel the hard palate right now. And um, I can see the soft palate starting to become a little bit more visible, but I'm not far enough yet. Uh, you can see how um, I'm kind of opening up those sides. See the jawbone um, and some of the muscles that are being cut. Again, just kind of pulling gently to see if there's any give. Um, again, kind of using the scalpel to make those gentle incisions on both sides. So I'm quite more. Um, down, then straight back. I don't want to go into the roof of the mouth. I kind of want to follow the curve of the tongue. So again, I'm just continuing to cut. You can see how I kind of reposition my thumb to pull back on the tongue a little bit. So I want to be able to see what I'm cutting. I don't just want to be blindly cutting. So that's why I'm kind of pulling with my hand to pull the tongue down. And again, continuing to make those slight incisions. I can just start to see the epiglottis right now, which means I'm getting close. Just loosening on either side. There's the epiglottis. I'm almost there. So again, I'm not cutting into the roof of the mouth. I'm not cutting into the tongue. I'm just opening up the muscles. Um, and with a little bit more incision, I should be right there. Almost there. All right, I can see the epiglottis. You can see that pharynx area. I'm going to cut just a little bit more because I can't see the nasopharynx or the esophagus clearly yet. So again, I'm just cutting into the tissue, and there we go. So now I can see that pharynx area really clearly. And we'll zoom in so we can see the structures a bit more. So the hard palate and the soft palate very obvious now. Now we want to think about how the pig breathes. So it's going to breathe through its nares and there's a passageway under the hard palate or above the hard palate that leads to the nasopharynx. When the pig's mouth is shut, the epiglottis, which is that flap, fits right into the nasopharynx. The epiglottis, that little flap, um, is just on top of the glottis. That's the hole that my probe is in. The glottis leads to the trachea in the chest cavity. So when the pig breathes in, the air goes through the nasopharynx into the glottis. And that's the esophagus right there that my probe is in. So the esophagus is where food goes after it passes over the tongue, over the epiglottis, and